Everybody hates repairing iPads. They've been a terrible repair experience ever since they've existed, earning twos and threes on our repairability scale. But is the new iPad Pro about to come change all of that? So let's start this teardown and take a peek under the hood of the 13 inch iPad Pro M5. The screen removal process is utterly unforgiving to the smallest mistakes, and it only takes one to turn this marvel of engineering into a 13 inch pile of e-waste. With the screen released, I can slightly rotate it to reveal a microphone flex. This needs to be disconnected before I can pull the screen back and expose the shielded section of the logic board where the screen's four press connectors live. With the shield off, I can pop the press connectors one by one and remove the screen. The battery is the component most likely to fail, so I want to remove that first. Pull tabs are fine when they work, but these ones were a bit of a pain to get to because of how thin the battery is and how short the end of the pull tabs are. They did the job okay, and after a lot of squeaks and snaps, the battery does come out. I've got my eyes on the logic board next. It looks to be the same removal process as the iPad Pro M4. A few screws and a couple of sections of cowling need to come away to reveal press connectors and coax cables, plus the occasional bit of tape to remove. Link to the full teardown in the comments. 